Well, good morning and welcome to Five Minutes of Blessing with your man, Pastor Artel Belma Sr., brought to you today by Spirit of Excellence Ministries. Hallelujah. And we are continuing our series on the names of God. I pray that it's a blessing and inspiring to you. And today we are on episode 17. And the name of God that we're going to go through today is Eli Malika Hai. Eli Malika Hai. Hallelujah. And the meaning of this name is God my King. God my King. In Psalm 68 and 24, David wrote these words, Your procession, God, has come into view, the procession of my God, Eli, and the King Malachi, into the sanctuary. Hallelujah. He also wrote in Psalm 68 and 28, Summon your power, God. Show us your strength, our God, as you have done before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what David is referencing in this text is that the God that has blessed David over his enemies, the enemies of Israel, the God that has blessed them throughout many a battle and many a situation, is the God, their king, who they give high praise to. Hallelujah. You know, David is really a, um, a, a foreshadow of the Christ that is to come in the New Testament. Hallelujah. And as we look at this, we think about all the great acts that God has given unto David. David says in Psalms 24 and 10, who is he? This king of glory, the Lord Almighty, he is the king of glory. I will exalt you, my God, the king. Hallelujah. Psalms 145 and 1 says, I will praise your name forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. We're going to take our quote from the day from Helen Keller, who was an American author, political activist, lecturer, uh, really was an advocate for disability rights. And she said this, she said, there is no king who has not had a slave among his ancestors and no slave who has not had a king among his direction. Hallelujah. I am going to respectfully disagree with Mrs. Keller. Romans 8 and 17 tells us, and if children then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so, be that, that we may suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Hallelujah. Galatians 3 and 29 tells us, And if you be Christ's, then ye are Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. Colossians 4 and 11 says, And Jesus, which is called Jesus, who, call, who are among the circumcision, these only are my fellow workers into the kingdom of God, which has been a comfort unto me. Hallelujah. Miss Keller is accurate into the concept of kingdomship, but our king, hallelujah, has set us free. Our king has adopted us into the family. Our king has made us joint heirs with him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our king says that we are no longer we are no longer slaves but friend we are no longer slaves but we are no longer boundsmen either we have been set free because the word says that he who the son sets free is free indeed hallelujah he is the king of glory he is king of kings and lord of lords all and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is king and lord hallelujah we get the king we get the lord hallelujah and he calls us fellow workers hallelujah the word of god says this that the harvest is plentiful but the workers are few hallelujah lord we just give you praise and we thank you that you've allowed us to choose you and to come into your kingdom where none of us are slaves where we're no more slaves that join heirs with you in Jesus' name. We read, we did a um, review of the of the names of God, and it said that we have now that we have Christ, we have a better covenant with better promises. Hallelujah! Colossians four and eleven tells us, and Jesus, which was called Judas, who are, who are of the circumcision. 
these only are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of God, which has been comfort unto me. Hallelujah. So in other words, Jesus doesn't call us slaves. He doesn't call us wretched and done. He calls us fellow workers within the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Isn't it good to know that we have been chosen as an heir to the kingdom of God? Hallelujah. That we have a virtuous relationship with God and with Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, hey. hey remember, you are entitled to all the spiritual blessings that comes in the word hallelujah and you have abundance favor no matter what situations you go through look people may be trying to lord over you people may act like they're the king of you but hey remember this you only have one king and he's the king of kings and he's the lord of lords and he doesn't want slaves he wants individuals who love god who love the father who want to be fellow workers with him in Jesus' name. Hey, he says that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Hey, be a fellow worker with Christ. Be a just heir with Christ. Hey, may Eli Malachi, the God our King, prosper you, keep you, and bless you until next time.